Okay, our next session, our next session is beautifully dovetailed into the NBA. We talked a lot about content there and how we use the influencers to create content for various brands. However, now we uh, have a session all around branded content in a sporting environment. So to take us through this session and look at how branded content can be the way to develop your sports strategies and your media strategies, we have um, two guys from Perform Media. Again, they were due to speak last year for us, but uh, Hurricane Matthew kind of put paid to that. So we're very delighted to welcome them back to the stage. We have uh, Juan Mayo and we have Ignacio Bernardo who are going to come to the stage. Let's give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Hello? Is there a um, clicker? So should I start? Okay. Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Juan Mayo. I lead Perform Media for Latin America. And uh, of course, Perform probably isn't a name that a lot of you have heard before. It's a company that actually uh, was founded 10 years ago by, the, by, by, the joint, by joining two companies, Inform uh, and uh, Premium TV. So we just celebrated our 10 years, and we have a really nice video that takes us to the story of our company for you guys to understand how we are ingrained in the sport. In Latin America, we actually have been very recently, I, was, I joined the company last year, and uh, we have done a lot of progress over, over, over this time, uh, but you'll, you will see a little bit how, how we're ingrained and how we are actually in the, in the heart of the sport, especially in football, uh, but around, around many uh, important sports around the world.
as a, as a sports media company, football or soccer is our main focus. <clears throat> With over four million, four billion fans worldwide, um, th that is where we're actually putting all our efforts. That's why we launched Gold Studios. Given that we've seen how the new breed of fan is interacting with sports content and how brands are actually in the need to, to get this branded content and distribute it through their own channels, through new channels like nowadays, players, teams, federations are now publishers. So we are here to help brands and help these, this type of influencers, these new publishers with our expertise in football reach, reach this new breed of fan through our Gold Studios proposal. So the four pillars of our company, it was explained a little bit in the video, but it's, it's our distribution with sports media. We license content through, uh, th through perform content. The Zone is like our Netflix of sports that we've been launching little by little in different markets. And then Gold Studios, it works directly with brands and help put, put everything together. Goal, as our football platform, is the number one football platform globally. We have over 60 million users and that's, that helps us a lot in understanding how, how uh, fans are interacting with uh, football content. On Facebook, we are we're a social giant. And if, you, and, if you, and if you look at of our expertise created content for social content on mobile, we are the number one publisher, not on sports, but, but in, on any vertical, in most shares globally. Why? We, we've seen this, this um, move into mobile and into, and in, in, into social and, and mobile video. And we see that in our region, our consumers are interacting with our content on mobile more and more. So all of our efforts on branded content are actually geared towards mobile. We also see that a lot of these users, a lot of these fans are engaging with content across different platforms. So our branded content is ready for that. Goal Studios puts the fan in the center. We understand the insights of the fan. We understand how they consume media, how they, how they consume the content of the sport and we build a strategy around content and then distribute around scale within our own platforms and within our partner platforms and even the brand's platforms. So just as a little bit about our fan. Fans in the past used to be a little bit more tribal. Nowadays, our fans are actually just following players, are following specific, you know, specific moments there are more fans of Messi than there are fans of any team in the, in, in, in the world, including, even including the Brazilian national team. Same thing with, with Cristiano Ronaldo. So these are, we, we, we're in a different, ti in a different time for, for sports consumption, and we understand how these fans are actually looking at, 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 at content, interacting with content, sharing this content. At a global level, we have worked with many brands from our Gold Studios proposal, and here are just a couple of examples. Actually, most of, our, of my presentation today is actually going to be showing you examples, some of the, some of the ones that are here, um, for, for, for you to understand how branded content in a social, mobile, video context actually is helping brands to engage with fans. We've also done it not only globally, but we've worked with local teams, and these are some, some of these examples. This is a video that we did about a campaign with Nike. It was a very small campaign in grassroots where we, 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 we looked at uh, social to bring fans together in a grassroots partner. Social media, we use Opta, our 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 platform, and 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 bring them together in, in a Nike launch in, in Argentina and Chile. Another big one was we partnered with UEFA. We partnered with Spotify, which is actually 
partly owned by Axis Industries, which is the main investor in our company. And we created the whole strategy around the UEFA 2006 Euro song. So this was bringing the, the voices of fans together and using David Guetta in, 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 in doing this, using an influencer like him and of course uh, and using him to distribute and to create this phenomenal campaign. I'm going to show you a video about this campaign. We also worked uh, with MasterCard. I'm not going to show this video because we ran out of time. But what we did is uh, we actually put two, two fans together and uh, measured their heart rates and generated content and brought an influencer, Santiago Cañizares, to actually guide them through the process. And then it was a, one of those priceless moments that MasterCard has. So let's say we are, not, not everything is, is about video. We also have worked with Toyota, who used to be the main sponsors of Copa Libertadores. And when they lost their game sponsorship, their, their name sponsorship, we then started working with them on a, uh, a Facebook site, a, a Facebook profile called Toyota Football Stats, where we provide all the main stats for the, for the competition. And it, this has become 
the biggest audience around Copa, Copa Libertadores, even larger than the, same, the, the, the own Copa Libertadores profile, where, where all the fans are getting the content uh, and, and what's happening with, with, the, uh, with the competition. Thank you. Stay there, guys. Stay there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. I'm sure some great content we, we had there. We've looked at the branded content element of things. One thing that always strikes me is obviously, and it's just a flippant remark, it seems to be that Messi does more time uh, doing ambassadorial work and influencer work than he does playing football at Pez this day. But does anyone have any questions? We warmed you up in the last two sessions. Come on. Some of you must have questions. Okay, Shai. I've got Shai. one. Don't worry. I've always got questions. Don't worry about that. What's the What's been the biggest challenge for you guys in terms of putting together branded content in the in the sports arena? What's the What's the biggest challenges you face on a, a day to day basis from the Latin market? In, in In Latin America, one of the biggest challenges I actually have have brands embrace the branded content concept. A lot of brands have you know they 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 have uh, kind of directions from their global teams and their regional teams. To, to go into branded content, but it's been hard for them to actually go in and take the leap into producing branded content. So a lot of, a lot of the local budgets are geared to media, and in, in many cases, these, the, the, the media distribution is just about you know, regular, brand, regular brand content, not branded content related to the sport. So bringing together kind of those different elements around the insights of the fan, the, the ambassadors that, that we could bring together, um, the, the, the stats that we have around the knowledge of the sports can actually help bring together at a very low cost and with a very high quality, have you seen, the type of things that, that brands can do from a local level, even from a small campaign like that Nike campaign, where it was just, they were trying to recruit people to come and play, and we did branded content around it and, 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 and reach a lot of people. Okay, thank you. Does anyone have any more questions? Okay, ah, here we go. Thank you, we learned a lot. Have you ever considered, uh, like with David Guetta, since you prepared for 360 days and there's all these behind the scenes, have you ever considered entering the space of reality show since you do have good positive content that influences so you somehow take out the space of, of all that other terrible things that are by reality, reality by reality shows like just like getting into yes, like live 360 days you already have enough content we, we've actually put proposals together around on reality we don't produce it on our own without a brand coming in together but we would we, we could do this with with a, with a brand and work with a brand and like for, they give you a little a short example we worked with a, um, a bank in Brazil in a proposal that actually didn't go through at the end and we, we were going to put together one influencer, one of the, the, the main surfers in Brazil, and he owns a house in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a Brazilian paradise, one of those surfing paradises, and we were going to bring people there and create a reality show on how these people were going to surf with him, brought, brought to you by, by, by the band. At the end, budgets didn't work out, but these are the type of things that 
our strategy kind of brings together and we can actually produce the content, distribute it, have the expertise on how to do it socially, video and mobile and help brands and help to brand, brands bring this to life. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's have a round of applause for one and Ignacio. Thank you very Thank much, you. guys. Thank you. Thanks.